What is the keto diet and how can you benefit from it? So in this video, we're gonna be going over the specifics on a very basic level though, of what keto is and how the keto diet can benefit you if you choose to do it the right way. So I've been on the Dr. Oz Show explaining what the ketogenic diet is. I've written a book called Complete Keto, explaining in depth what the keto diet is. In this video though, we're gonna keep it short and sweet and simple and basic, not get into a lot of the science, but try and explain to you what happens in your body when you do the keto diet and maybe dispelling a few myths along the way. So a lot of people think keto is some new fad diet that was just recently discovered. Yes, it's become popular uh, in the mainstream media, but let's start from the very beginning. As humans, we were designed to run off of two different types of fuel. One of those fuels, which most of us know, is a glucose, which comes from carbohydrates. Our bodies convert all carbohydrates into glucose, and our bodies use glucose as its main source of energy, right? And so most people understand that part of it. But what happens when we run out of food? As a species, we were designed to go periods of time without food, right? Our ancestors didn't have DoorDash or, or Uber Eats, right? <laughs> or grocery stores. So we had to go periods of time without food. And guess what? We didn't die. If we went two days or two weeks or two months without food for some people, because of this amazing thing called ketosis, where our bodies, when we are starved of food or starved of glucose, our bodies have this amazing ability to turn our stored body fat into energy so that we could still function, we could still hunt for food, and we could still stay alive. It's how we survived as a species. So keto isn't just some new thing that we've discovered. It's a natural metabolic state that is totally healthy and safe if done the right way, where we can burn fat as fuel instead of glucose or carbohydrates as fuel. And so there's two main ways to enter into ketosis, and one of them you can already guess is to just starve yourself. Like if everyone on the planet stopped eating today, as humans, within two, three, four, five days, most of us would be in a state of ketosis because that's what our bodies were designed to do. We can't find any glucose. What's our backup system? Okay. Let's create ketones, which are an alternative fuel source. That's not the funnest way to do it, but it works. The second way is to hack that by eating a ketogenic diet, which is high fat, moderate protein, low carb, and that's what's become very popular in the mainstream media nowadays, is a ketogenic diet where you are eating calories, mostly fat, some protein, and very, very little carbs, because what that does is it forces your body to produce ketones as this alternative fuel source. So it kind of mimics what fasting does still while being able to eat some calories. And so by doing that, our bodies are forced to produce ketones, which like I said, ketones become the main source of energy for our brain, muscles, organs, and our nervous system to function as humans. So what are some of the main benefits of keto? The keto diet is an anti-inflammatory diet, so it can help reduce inflammation. And if we go back to the 1920s, when keto was kind of first discovered as a tool to help children with severe epilepsy, for whatever reason, they found that giving these children high-fat, low-carb diet got rid of their seizures. And since then, the ketogenic diet has been rigorously studied with lots of scientific research being done to show how healthy it is for things like epilepsy or seizures or a traumatic brain injury or Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or even certain forms of cancer. There's a lot of scientific research that has been done on the ketogenic diet to show what the benefits are. So one of the first ones is it's an anti-inflammatory diet. It helps to suppress your appetite by combining fat with protein, which is very satiating, which means you don't feel as hungry as often, which means you can go longer periods of time without food, which means you'll most likely reduce your caloric intake, which can lead to weight loss and fat loss in the end. But also one of the main benefits is the improvement in mental clarity and cognitive function. This is what so many people like myself love about the ketogenic diet is the way my brain feels when I'm in a state of ketosis. And it also provides a neuroprotective benefit for your brain, which is why people with seizures or any kind of diseases of the brain, keto has been shown to be very effective in those areas. It can also help to improve digestion because you're not having to digest 
five, six, seven meals a day like some people eat. You can maybe eat once or twice a day and feel completely full and satiated all day long while your brain feels super sharp and mentally your, your focus and your energy levels are through the roof all day long. So this is why thousands of people in my Back to Fit community, which is my program that I created when I gained weight on purpose recently for my Fit to Fat to 40 journey and then lost it, my Back to Fit program is a ketogenic program. That's why we've had thousands of success stories of people doing this journey with me, um, doing the keto diet the right way, the healthy way. And that's why we've had so many amazing transformation stories, but also people reporting in on the benefits that I just listed, um, you know, their numbers have gone down with the cholesterol and their A1C, and they've also seen improvements in their other blood markers. Um, and they just love the way that their minds and their, their cognitive function has improved by doing the keto diet. And we've had thousands of success stories from the Back to Fit community, uh, which if you're interested in that, you can go to fit to fat to fit .com and, and learn how to do it because it's all in an app where you get access to the meal plans, the recipes, the grocery list, the workouts. Uh, all designed by me specifically to optimize fat loss and weight loss. At the end of the day, the keto diet is one tool in your tool belt that can help to improve health. And if you're looking to lose weight and lose fat, yes, you can do that with keto and feel amazing. But it's not a magic pill. It doesn't mean that this is the end all be all for all humans, but it's a totally natural and safe metabolic state to enter into. And most people will love the fact that their brains their cognitive function, their mental clarity is improving, as well as some other things. So if you're interested in learning more about how to do keto the right way, you can go to my website, fit2fat2fit.com, or check out my book, Complete Keto on Amazon. Either way, I appreciate you being here. Hopefully you learned something, and we'll see you guys around in the next video.